Hey guys, we are going to work on practice sheet two. I'm going to kind of hustle through here and get these started. And a couple of them I may even finish for you. Um, otherwise, you'll take it from where you see it and move on. So number one, change four and one sixth to a decimal. We did not do this last week, so I want to make sure that we do it. Four and one sixth. What I would do is put the four and the decimal. Then here for one sixth to change it to a decimal, we divide. And if you because that's how we know this bar means divide. So one divided by six. I know that looks backwards, but it's not. Okay. So we need our sixes, 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and I'm going to stop and see if we need to go any further. Actually, I'll go one more, 42. Okay, will 6 go into 1? No. So we either put a 0 or an X. In this case, I'm going to just put a 0 because I know I need a decimal, decimal, 0. Every time, if we're out of room, we haven't started here, we're going to go decimal, decimal, 0. 6 into 10 is how I'm looking at this. 6 into 10, 2 is too big. So I go 1, does McDonald's sell burger? So divide, multiply 1 times 6, 6, subtract 4. I have a remainder. We don't do remainders in middle school, so I put a 0 and bring down. 6 into 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's too big. 6, 6 times 6, 36. 4, I have another remainder, the same remainder, right? So 6 into 40 again. So hopefully you can tell this is going to repeat. So I would put this number over here by the whole number, 1 and then 6. And then I'm going to not put the other 6 because I know from this point that 6 repeats. Don't put the repeat sign over the 1, okay? Number two, I might be wrong, but I think this is the same problem as last week. Okay, I might be wrong. So remember, a percent compares to what magic number? 100, 45% for every 100, so 45. Now your job is to figure out what they divide by. Hint, hint, they are both not even, so you cannot divide those by two evenly. We're not going to do three together. Number four, I'm going to read it, and you'll you'll do it by yourself. Kathleen buys two pounds of ground beef for three twenty nine per pound. Two pounds, guys. If tax is not added, how much change? This is a two step problem. Change from twenty. So I will tell you, for change, we will subtract, but you have to figure out what you're going to subtract, and it's not. 329 because two pounds are 329 each for each pound. Okay. Number five, you need to know place value on this. I'm going to help you out here. Place value. So, like the first one, that's tenths, hundreds, thousands, but we're only here at the tenths. My fraction is eight tenths. That will simplify. That will simplify. Those are both even. Division on number six. I'm going to start this. 37 and 18 hundredths divided by 0 0.4. So we started this. We worked on this quite a bit this week, this past week. Okay. So I know I'm dividing by four. So four, eight, 12. I know I'm doing this kind of fast for the sake of time on the video okay but you you need to do be able to count those up yourself now remember we can't have a decimal in the divisor so if we move it to the end remember like to the end of a sentence well I only had to move it once so I moved this one once okay so 4 into 3 won't go 4 into 37 is 9 So remember, does McDonald's sell burgers? So 9 times 4, 36. Subtract 1, pull down the 1. You do 4 into 11. Put it here and go from there, okay? You'll probably have to take, I'm going to put this extra 0 here for you, okay? 
Okay, number seven. I'm not going to do this for you either. I'm going to write it. Look, we already have our fours. I'm not going to delete it. Okay, so you're going to do four times eight, two, and four. What I will do is tell you once you're done with the four, remember to hold your spot. Okay, make sure you do that before you add. Okay, no decimals there. Okay. Now we're going to look at number eight. Okay, uh, number eight, find the area of the parallelogram. So we use our formula chart. So have your formula chart, take it out, and find the word area. It's written in the black line, find the word area. And if you scroll down to, it'll either, I think it says parallelogram and rectangle, it's below the word triangle. You're going to see A equals BH. Okay? <clears throat> so the B and the H, remember they have to form a right angle. Okay? I'm just practicing this with you so you remember what each part is. Formula first. Substitute means we plug in the numbers we're using. Always, always do that. So I'm not going to put my units. That's the only thing. I'll do those at the end. So the base height, that's always fun to hear. So here's my base and height. I don't need 10.2. I would need that if I was doing perimeter. Okay, so base, I would put 13.4 and then my height, 9. Okay, this tells you what you're going to multiply. Okay, so 13.4. Please make sure you do it this way. You don't line up decimals when you multiply. You only line them up when you add and subtract. Okay? So you're going to multiply over here. That's your job. Remember, you can do the, the rule, right? The trick for the nines. Okay. And then put inches squared. Get that written for me. That's your job. You multiply it. I can check it for you. Okay, number nine, that's what we're doing before, remember, percent, percent. This is an easy number, I think, so remember, I'm not going to say it because I'm going to see who's listening. It should be 12 over, what's the magic number? 100, so you put that here, 12 over 100. If all I see is a bar, I know you weren't listening to the video. Okay. And number 10, find the area of a triangle. So this is the same thing. Go to the formula chart. Find where it says area. Area is in the black line. Then bring your finger down one, and you will see the word triangle. Move your finger to the right, and it says A equals half B H. Okay? And again, same question, guys. How do we know B and H? Well, they form a right angle, so we can cross out that number, okay? So half, remember substitute, base times height, I would say, this is just me, I would say it's 22.1, that makes sense to me, and then 14. Those are the numbers we use because those are the right angle. It does not matter if you put these in the other order, it makes no difference, okay? Now here's the difference. We have half. Take half of a number if you can. I would do half of 14. So if you think of half of 14, count up by twos and you'll see that it's seven. Half of 14 is seven. But I still haven't multiplied 22.1. So that will be your job, okay, to multiply that. The only other way, or the other way you can do that is you can multiply 22.1 times 14. If you want to do this, be my guest. 22.1 times 14. You do not have to write this if you are listening. But whatever you get here, you would divide by 2. Okay? This is a secondary way. You do not need to write this. You do need to write this. Okay? But whatever way is easier for you is fine. Times 7, and again, my units are inches, so it'll be inches squared. So you'll put your answer in here. Got it? Okay. I'll let y'all finish this up.